June in uh, 2010. Many uh, crimes were uh, committed by the so-called authorities. Many people's rights were violated and uh, to this day many people are still calling for a full public inquiry. We haven't had one yet so once again people are getting together to demand a full public inquiry as well as the resignation of uh, Toronto uh, Police Force uh, Chief Bill Blair. Let's see what's going on outside. Here we are again at Young and Dundas Square. I am the Ugly Truth. And uh, it's 3 o'clock sharp. The rally is scheduled to begin now. It's been raining quite heavily here in Toronto all day. Hopefully, that won't discourage too many of the demonstrators from coming out. We've got a small crowd gathered here so far. So I'll continue covering the event. Hopefully, we'll get a lot of people here and uh, we'll get nice and loud and show the powers that be uh, that they work for us. They have to listen to us if we want a full public inquiry into what happened this past summer at the G20, why so many lies were told and why so many rights were violated. Thank you.
because people are standing up for their rights. And when we're, we're a democracy, we have, to, we have to be the shining light throughout the world. We have to set an example, right? And they let us down. You know, the average police officer, I don't blame them. I blame their leadership, specifically Bill Blair, who lied to the Canadian public time and time again. picked up a little bit. We just heard from Derek Soberall, producer of uh, Toronto G20 Exposed documentary, which documents uh, the events this past summer very well, chronologically from the start to the end. So we dealt with uh, kettling, police brutality, uh, police chief Bill Blair lied multiple times, they lied about the five meter rule, Basically, uh, rights were violated, freedom of speech. They uh, descended on Queen's Park and attacked uh, people in the designated free speech zone who were protesting peacefully, yet they allowed the black bloc to rampage and uh, vandalize the city, about 50 black bloc. There were 20,000 police officers in the city that weekend. They could have easily stopped them and arrested the people uh, involved but instead they allowed police cars to be burned and store windows to be smashed. They were ordered to stand down. Somebody gave those orders. They keep resisting. There are uh, several calls for a public inquiry from many organizations, including Canadian Civil Liberties so uh, Association, uh, Amnesty International, the Ontario Ombudsman, and many others. But for some reason, uh, Ontario Premier Dalton McGuinty and Prime Minister Stephen Harper keep rejecting the request for a full public inquiry. That's the only thing that'll actually uh, get to the bottom of who is responsible and, and hold people accountable. What are they hiding? Why, why won't they allow this? It's our tax dollars at work. They were glad to spend a billion of our tax dollars, uh, you know, for all the security, which was pretty much useless but uh, they don't want to have a full public inquiry despite uh, all the demands calling for one.
atrocities of G20 in Toronto. This is our city, this is our country. This is not the government of Canada. It's Harper's government and it falls on him. This was Harper's party in the city of Toronto. The most mass violations of Canadian Charter rights in the history of this country. The most arrest, the most mass arrest in Canadian history. Fake laws that were passed, five meter rules that never existed, weapon caches that were falsified, badges that were not worn by police. We're holding people accountable. Let's all, let's all unite and uh, we're gonna go over there in the middle of the intersection and uh, let's just all walk together. We're gonna form a triangle. They can arrest you for obstructing traffic, man. You guys want to go? Be careful. Hey, guys. What happened? We won't forget what happened. We won't forget. You think we got their attention now? officers were called on to scene. Let's hope there aren't any arrests here. And every G20, and every G20 country offered to sweatshop. The G20 itself is a hypocrisy. That's why they go to the G20. I go to the protest. I knew my has to be had to accomplish. What is And how come no one's going to do it? Here with the attitude. There's, there's 
It's been uh, quite a while since we evacuated the uh, intersection, but uh, more police officers keep showing up on scene here. So I'm wondering if something's going to go down. I guess we'll find out.